and welcome back to Owen's Sports Talk. Um, so, today, this is part three of my videos. I will be guessing all of the 2024 MLB awards. So, first, let's start off with MVP. Person, I'm going to do AL and NL for both, don't worry. Um, so, the last three in 2021 was Shohei Otani. Aaron Judge and then Shohei Otani again. I think it's going to be. Can't be Shohei Otani. He's not in the NL any, or AO anymore. I don't think it's going to be Aaron Judge. He's getting older. He's not old yet. But I would love to see it from a young player like Bobby Witt, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, young player. But. Honestly, it. I think it's going to be Jordan Alvarez as long as he stays healthy. I am an Astro fan, as all of you all know that. But, like Mike Trout, he's getting old. Juan Soto's pretty young. He didn't have a great season last year. Um, so, I think it's going to be Jordan Alvarez... Not going to be biased in all of these, I promise. But he has a real good shot because he actually would have got third place if he stayed healthy and projected the same stats. That's why I think it's going to be Jordan Alvarez. So, next in the National League, last year it was Ronald Acuna, the year before that, it was Paul Goldschmidt, and then in 2021, it was Bryce Harper. In 2024, it would be Shohei Otani, but he can't pitch. So, for that reason, I honestly think it's going to be Matt Olson. He put up 50 home runs last year. Yes, some of you might be like, Ronald Acuna's in the 4070 club. Okay, I can go on and on. For people who had one good season and sucked for the rest. So, Ronald Cunha was good before that. But I think Ma Matt Olson is going to have a pop-off year. But, my actual prediction is Mookie Betts. I'm sorry, but he's a great fielder. He can contact it. He can power hit. He's clutch. He can earn the RBIs because he's on the Dodgers. I think it's going to be Mookie Betts. Second place will be Ronald Acuna. And third, I'm guessing it will be Matt Olson. So, next, Cy Young in the American League. In 2021, Robbie Ray won the award with the Blue Jays, actually. Then Justin Verlander won it in 22 with the Astros. And Garrett Cole won it in 23. This year in the AL, I think the Cy Young... We'll go to Kevin Gossman. Not only is he a great pitcher, but Garrett Cole's injured, which is going to be a great chance for him to step up. Um, yeah. Also, another candidate will be Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns is a great pitcher. He, if he has a bounce back year, he could almost win it. Let's in the National League in twenty twenty one. Corbin Burns actually won that. I did not know that. I'm looking at this website. Um, Sandy Alcantara won it in 22. Then it ended up to suck. And Blake Snell won it in 2023. I think this is a long shot, but Yoshi Yanomoto is going to win it. Never mind. Spencer Strider. Spencer Strider is probably going to win it. Spencer Strider is a great young pitcher. Yeah, he's a great young pitcher. Oops, clicked off. I am using this on Safari. It's fine. Um, and then batting title. In 2021, it was won by Yuli Gurriel. In 2022, it was won by Luis Arias. In 2023, it was won by Yaini Diaz. I think... It's going to be won by 
Hmm, this is a hard one. Hmm. Let me think. Give me one sec. Hmm. I know just the player. Julio Rodriguez. Not only does he have contact, he has power from time to time. He won the 2022 Home Run Derby. And he's still getting better. He's 23 years old. I think it's going to be Julio. Plus, he has that huge contract as motivation. That might be a long shot, but I think it is. In the National League, Trey Turner won it in 2021 with the Dodgers. In 2022, I think it was Jeff McNeil. And in 2023, it was Lisa Reyes. This year, I think it's going to be Shohei Otani. He can swing the bat. He can swing the bat. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Reliever of the Year Award. In 2021, it was won by Liam Hendricks. In 2022, it was won by Emmanuel Classe. In 2023, it was won by Felix Batista. I think Josh Hader is now over here. He is an Astro. But I don't think he is going to win it. I think Manuel Classe has a really good shot with Felix Batista being injured. But a really good reliever was Garrett Whitlock, but he moved to starting. Hmm. Honestly? Not really a, good, a lot of good relievers. I think it's going to be won by Josh Hader. I'm going back on what I said earlier. I think it's going to be won by Josh Hader or Brian Abreu. They're both really good relievers. you got to be honest with me. Not being biased. But if not either of those two, it's going to be Class A. Um, and then now in the National League. In 2021, it was won by Josh Hader with the Brewers. In 2022, it was won by Edwin Diaz. 2023 it was won by Devin Williams. There's two players I guarantee will win this. Either Edwin Diaz or Evan Phillips. Evan Phillips is 30. It's normally around people's prime. Uh, I think he's going to win it. Next, Rookie of the Year. In 2021, it was won by Randy Rosarena. In 2022, it was won by Julio Rodriguez. In 2023, it was won by Gunnar Henderson. Let's see, what's what what are some good rookies? I the season hasn't even started, unless you count the Soul Series. Um I don't really know a lot of rookies since it's still the start of the season. But I think it's gonna be Jackson Holiday. If you watch the first two parts, there was some rumors that he was not gonna be called up to the bigs. But if he's the one player I have to guess now, it's going to be him. Um, next. Oh, I forgot the National League. Never mind. Not next. In 2021, it was won by Jonathan India. In 2022, it was won by Michael Harris II. In 2023, it was won by Corbin Carroll. Again, I don't know a lot of rookies. I have to really think. Hmm. I honestly have I again it's spring training. I can't think of a lot of good ones. But hmm. I'm gonna say I don't know guys. Help me out. I can't mm, sorry. So sorry, I just I don't know one. Comment down below who you think is going to be the NL Rookie of the Year. Because I have no clue. Uh, and whoever does guess it, who's ever the first one to guess it, I'll send them a free jersey. Nope, I'm not going to do that because... Yep, yeah, no. Um, Hank Aaron Award. 2021, it was won by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In 2022, it was won by Aaron Judge. In 2023, it was won by Shohei Otani. I think it's going to be won by... Let's see. 
could say Aaron Judge. He is 32, just after normal people's prime. I think Mike Trout will have a good bounce back year. Uh, I'm going to guess Mike Trout. NL 2021, it was won by Bryce Harper. 2022, it was won by Paul Goldschmidt. 2023, it was won by Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, hmm, another hard one. Mookie Betts, probably. Mm. I'm going to say Shohei Otani. Again, he has a power bat. Power. Just like Hank Aaron. Um, Gold Glove Pitcher. 2021, I was with my Dallas Keuchel with the uh, Chicago White Sox. 2022, I was won by Shane Beaver. Be- Bieber. Beaver, not Justin Beaver, Shane Beaver. And then 2023 was won by Julio, Jose Burritos. Honestly, if I know one person with a great fielding ability, Kevin Gossman. If you have not seen this guy fields, he can call off the catcher and the manager will be okay with it. He's great at fielding. Now, National League. In 2021 and 2022, it was won by Max Fried. In 2023, it was won by Zach Wheeler. I don't know much about defensive pitchers. Um, but based on this, I think it's going to be Max Fried again. He won 21, he won 22, and maybe he can win 24. Next, Gold Glove Catcher. In 2021, it was won by Sean Murphy with it. Sean Murphy with the A's, the Las Vegas A's. Nope, it was the Oakland A's. Just testing you. Jose Trevino in 2022 and Jonah Heim in 2023. A great defensive catcher with a great arm is Cal Raleigh of the Seattle Mariners. That's why I'm not going to choose him because... Seattle Mariners, they don't have a fast division, so he's not going to, like, there's not so many people who are fast in the AL West as, like, the AL East. The AL East has a lot more fast people, so Adley Rutschman will get more abilities to catch people. That's why I think Adley Rutschman is going to win the gold glove at catcher. Um, National League. 2021 was earned by Jacob Stalling with the Pittsburgh Pirates. 2022 was won by the Philadelphia, not Philadelphia Phillies, JT Remuto. Number 2023, it was won by Gabriel Morano. Now in the National League, huh? Hmm. Will Smith. He's great offensively. He's pretty good defensively. I think it's going to be Will Smith. J.T. Romuto, he's a good option. He's getting older. Now, first base, 2021, gold glove, first base. 2021, it was won by UB Gurriel. 2022, it was won by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In 2023, it was won by Nathaniel Lowe. I think it's going to be one, I can't say UB, because he's, um, he was an Astro when he won it, but he's 38 now. 39, actually. I think... Hmm. First basemen don't really get as much time to shine. They're really just catching the ball. But I think Vlad's going to get it. He has the motivation of that contract. He has the motivation of being the 2024 cover athlete. Even though some people think uh, there's a the show curse. There c- could be. I don't know. Justism ended up to suck, so I blame the show for that, kind of. Uh-huh. Gold Glove, first base. Paul Goldschmidt, 2021. Christian Walker in 22 and 23. I think it's going to be Christian Walker in 24. He's the same glove. Even though he's aged, um, I can't find out his age. The safari page sucks, but, um, even though... He's aging. His glove is not changing. Um, in 
Gold Glove Second Base. In 2021, it was won by second baseman Marcus Simeon. Simeon. Can't talk. With the Blue Jays. In 22 and 23, it was won by Andres Menes. With the Cleveland Guardians. Honestly, this might be a little bit of a long shot. But there are some rumors that Gunnar Henderson is moving to second base or Jackson Holiday. I think it's going to be won by one of those two. They both have great gloves. And, yeah, I think if they do get the opportunities at second, they could be really good. If not, I think it's going to be Andres Jimenez again. Um, NL. Tommy Edmond won in 2021. Brandon Rogers won in 2022. And Nico Horner won in 2023. A great second baseman. Mookie Betts, great glove. He's a second baseman now. Some pe- people say he'll be playing shortstop. I think he's going to be playing second base because there's so many good second basemen. There's less shortstops who are good. So I want to see him compete with those people at second. Now, Gold Glove shortstop, won by Carlos Correa with the Astros in 2021, Jeremy Pena in 2022, and then Anthony Volpe in 2023. Honestly, if Jeremy Pena has a bounce back year, it could very much be him or Gunnar Henderson. They haven't confirmed where he's going to play, but it's either going to be Jeremy Pena or Gunnar Henderson. Now, in the National League, We have Brandon Crawford, who won in 2021. Danby Swanson, who won it with the Braves. And then he also won it again in 2023 with the Cubs. Hmm. I think it'd be really cool. It's going to be a long stretch. But if Danby Swanson Swanson wins it, he gets traded and then wins it with, I don't know. Let's say Hold up guys, sorry. Did I do third base? No, I didn't. I'm so sorry, I just skipped that. Uh huh. But let's keep on doing this short stop. Um it'd be funny if Jans B. Swanson won with another team. I think it's gonna be him. He still has a great glove. Now, third base, because I skipped that. Matt Chapman with the A's in 21. Ramona Rios with the Orioles in 22. And then Matt Chapman with the Blue Jays in 23. And Matt Chapman's now a giant. I think it'd be really funny if he won it again. But, again, I think that Henderson's going to win it. I know I have said it multiple times. I just don't know where he's going to play. But if he does play third base again... I think he's gonna win it. Now that that's it for that's it for Gunnar Henderson. He can't play outfield, which is what we have coming next after we do the NL third baseman, which Nolan Arenado has won it in twenty one, twenty two, and Kibar and Hayes has won it in twenty three. Nolan Arenado. Why do I have to say anything else? He's the best third baseman defensively. Now, um, Gold Glove left. Field. Andrew Benintendi won it in 21, and then Stephen Kwan won it in 22 and 23. Stephen Kwan is a good um, fielder, but Chaz McCormick is moving to left. We have so many more good guys who are moving to left. Um, hmm. I think Stephen Kwan's going to win it again, even though that he does have Chaz McCormick and Mauricio Dubon. And Julio Rodriguez, who could possibly play left field. I think Stephen Kwan's going to win it for his third year in a row. Now, National League, we have Tyler O'Neill, who won it in 21. And then Ian Happ, who won it in 22 and 23 for the left field. Mm, Ian Happ is not playing left field anymore. He's actually playing shortstop. Um, or DH. I think for left field, it's going to be won by, this might be a long shot, but I was about to say J.D. Martinez, not J.D. Martinez. Hmm. 
can't think. I, this is another hard one, but I'd say it's gonna be won by JD Martinez. He's playing left field. Like I don't know what team he's was signed by. That's a problem. Just realize that. <laughs> but center field, it was won by Michael A. Taylor with the Royals in twenty one. Miles Straw in 22, and Kevin Kiermeyer with the Blue Jays in 20. Kevin Kiermeyer, there's no other reason. He is the best, 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 best defensive center fielder of all time. I'm saying it. Now in the National League, Harrison Bader won it in 21, Trent Grissom in 22, and I clicked off. I gotta stop doing that. Uh, okay. Kevin Kiermeyer. Oh, wait, that's... Okay. There we go. Brenton Doyle won it in 23. For the National League, I think Shohei Otani might be playing outfield. I think he has a good shot at it. Right field. In 21, it was won by Joey Gallo, the... Yankees, Kyle Tucker with the Astros, and then Adolis Garcia with the Rangers. A whole lot of rivalry, rivalry, rivalries. I think it's going to be won by Kyle Tucker again. He had a 30-30 season. He obviously has some speed. He has a good glove. He won it in 22. He was a finalist this year. I think it's going to be Kyle Tucker. National League, Adam Duvall won it with the Braves in 21. Mookie Betts won it with the Dodgers in 22. And Tatis won it with the Padres in 23. Hmm. I think it's going to be Ronald Cunha Jr. He has speed. Speed's good for right field. It's gonna, I think it's going to be Ronald. Now, Silver Sluggers. Um... Uh huh. So there's a whole lot of positions. Actually, there's not that much. Okay, well, we can go over these. Ah, so for the American League, Shohei won it in 21 and 23 with the Angels. And then Jordan won it in 22 with the Astros. Honestly, with, I think Jordan's going to win it. I'm a little biased because I'm an Astro fan, but Jordan has power, he has contact, he has a good chance, but if not, I think it's going to be Corey Seager. Silver Slugger DH, Max Freed won it in 2021, even though he's a starting pitcher. Josh Bell won it in 2022, and Bryce Harper won it in 23. DH. I think it's going to be J.D. Martinez if he doesn't get a chance in left field. Okay, I don't know what league he's going to be in, but I think he's going to be in the National League. Silver Slugger catcher, Salvador Perez won it with the Royals in 21. Alejandro Kirk won it in 22. And Adley Rutschman won it in 23. Mm. Bat as a catcher. Honestly, I think Mitch Garver might win it this year. Even though he's playing DH, he's signified as a catcher. So I think he's gonna win it. Um in the National League, 21 was won by Buster Posey, 23 was won by Wilson Contreras, and I skipped 22, which was won by JT Romuto. A great catcher. Um, hmm. Will Smith. Will Smith is my choice. First base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. won it in 21. Nathaniel Lowe won it in 22. And Yandy Diaz won it in 23. I think first base. It's not Jose Abreu as much as I like him as an Astro. Last season, 
It took him so long to get one home run. If you're an Astro fan, you know. Um, so let's talk about first base. I think it's going to be Galeber Torres if he gets some starts there at first. He can play first for y'all who didn't know that. Oh, what's there in the background? Uh, that's a surprise for a later video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you see that video. Okay, National League. Freddie Freeman won it with the Braves in 21. Paul Goldschmidt won it with the Cardinals in 22. And Matt Olson won it in 23. Earlier, I was saying Matt Olson could get the MVP. He certainly get this award. Certainly. Sorry. Silver Slugger second base. Marcus Simeon won it in 21 and 23. Blue Jays in 21 and Rangers in 23. And Jose Altuve won it in 22. Jose Altuve would have won it in 23 if he wasn't injured for the first third. And he should be or well, first half, he should be healthy, and with that motivation of the huge contract extension, I think he's going to win it in 22. Now, in, at Ozzy Albies won it in 21, Jeff McNeil won it in 22, and Luis Arias won it in 23. If Luis Arias wins it again, that's going to be his third. I believe he can do it. I really do. Third base, um, Rafael Devers, Jose Ramirez, and Rafael Devers wins it again. Hmm, I think Alex Bregman's on a contract year. He hasn't been great. I'm not going to pick him. Josh Young, I think he's going to do it. Um... In the National League, Austin Riley won it in 21 and 23, and Nolan Arenado won it in 22 for Silver Slugger third base. Honestly, I think Matt Chapman will win it. That might be a long shot, but I just have a gut feeling that he'll win it. Shortstop, Alexander Bogarts won it with the Boston Red Sox in 21 and 22, and Corey Seager won it in 23. If Jer Jeremy Pena has a back out, back bounce back year, he might win it. I don't think he will. Honestly, maybe in a couple years, not this year. I think Corey Seager will win it, like he did last year. Fernando Tatis Jr. won it in twenty one for more in the National League. I'm sorry for not to clarifying that. Trey Turner won it in 22 with the Los Angeles Dodgers. And Francisco Lindor won it in 23. I think Mookie Betts is going to win it this year. Silver Slugger Outfield. There's three contending. Well, three. They don't have left field, center field, and right field. They just have outfield. So there's three players who I'm going to say on each of these. In 21, it was won by Cedric Mullins and Bryce Harper. And Cedric Mullins again. And 22 is won by Aaron Judge and Kyle Swarber. And Aaron Judge again. And then 23 is won by... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind. Forget everything I just said about the outfield. Except it is still in bunches. But Cedric Mullins won it in 21. Aaron Judge won it in 21. And Ty Oscar Hernandez won it in 21. In 22... Its winners were Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, and Julio Rodriguez. In 23, its winners were Luis Robert Jr., Kyle Schwarber, and Julio Rodriguez. For my three in the AL, I think it's going to be Aaron Judge, Jordan Alvarez, and Julio Rodriguez. Now in the National League, um, Bryce Harper Juan Soto with the Nationals and Nick Castellanos with the Reds won it all in 21, 20, 21. And Kyle Schwarber won it with the Phillies in 22. Same with Mookie Betts who won it with the Dodgers and Juan Soto who won it with the Padres. And then in 23, Juan Soto, Mookie Betts, and Ronald Cunha Jr. won it. I think it's going to be Ronald Cunha Jr., Mookie Betts, and Fernando Tatis Jr. 
Next, postseason MVP. Hmm. Clutch, Austin Riley. World Series MVP. Um, oh, sorry. Um, last year, postseason MVP, Jordan won it in 21. Jeremy Pena won it in 22. And Cattell Marte won it in 23. World Series MVP, Jorge Soler won it in 21. Jeremy Pena won it in 22. And Corey Seager won it in 23. In part two, I said the Braves were going to win the World Series. I'm going to stick to that and choose Matt Olson as the World Series MVP. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave, Go down, hit the like and subscribe button. And those are my predictions. Sorry, I was looking up most of the time. Um, close my dog. Sleeping. But there is... Owen Sports Talk signing out.